What's up, everybody? My name is Jason, and welcome to Small Biz. In this very short video, we're going to talk about how Mr. Mullins just yanked his Facebook page down and what the heck is going on with this $15.7 million order yesterday from MGT, because I have about seven or eight why questions that I want answers to in the comments below. All that and more coming right up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I need you to like, subscribe, share this video everywhere. It's very unusual for me to be doing a video at 8.30 in the morning. But as many of you learned last night, Mr. Mullins, whose initials are LH, is now gone from the Internet, or at least from Facebook. He threatened to do it for a number of days. He finally has. So I have a number of why questions that I would love to get an answer for in the comments below. First of all, why would you delete your Facebook page if you were actually not only going to put Tesla out of business, but save the world with your black box technology? Why in the world would you tell everyone that you had Saudi security or that you were working on a secret military base with respect to drones? Why, as I shared this morning on my Twitter page, follow me at Try Small Biz in 2019, were you talking about how Hollywood was actually going to do a movie and write a book about your life? Why, oh why, does MGT's website that says built by GoDaddy have a Gmail address connected to the account when you fill out the contact us form? Why is there only three stock photos that go back to last year? Why is there no about me? Why is there no leadership? How come there's no story? Why are all the orders for all you bulls out there of which I am one, I own a ton of stock at $2 a share. I'd love to see it go higher. Why do all of the orders seem to go through Randy Marion Automotive? Why aren't there others in this country? Is there a secret deal? Is there a hush deal between David and Randy? I don't know. Again, I own the stock, but I could keep going on and on and on about all these whys. Why is it unable to sustain any rally? Why is every rally sold? Why is it down 99.5% in the last 24 months? And is it possible, if I haven't gotten your attention already, that this is MCOM 2.0? If you remember from yesterday's video, Sal, who I think is one of the most worthless CEOs in the history of NASDAQ, uh, reverse split the stock one for 50 about six weeks ago, insinuated that we owe him an apology and he was going to be the last one to laugh or smile. Well, we lost 90% of our shareholder equity in the last six weeks, 45% of it in the last month after regaining compliance with the NASDAQ, the stock got cut in half. Last trade in the pre-market, 65 cents. So what's to say that Mullins is actually going to do the same thing? The low uh, post-split support, buck and a quarter. Resistance, 175. What's to say they're not holding it up with bullshit orders that seem to go through only one location that are already, I don't know, years behind in terms of delivery? What's to say they're not going to hold it up just long enough to get it above a dollar, regain compliance, and then here comes the dilution. Here comes billions and billions more shares, and we're looking at the same situation that we are right now with MCOM. Yesterday, after my video, the stock shot up to 80 cents a share and then on six times normal volume kaboom and it's actually down after all that volume of two and a half million on mcom what's to say it's not going to happen with mullen i own the stock i want you and your family to do well with it but i would not under any circumstance whatsoever when we have one guy who claims to have a 10 billion dollar deal suddenly go dark and i can't confirm this but many people on social media including some from his hometown say he got arrested yesterday la afternoon i said in multiple videos in calling him out on his bullshit that if he is actually taunting the sec as he was with one phony baloney statement after another he's asking for the handcuffs did it happen yesterday if somebody actually knows for for real i'd love to hear it in the comments but in in closing and this is based on 30 years of experience half of it as a broker ladies and gentlemen do not throw good money after bad make the stock reclaim 175 and then you have my permission to buy more of it if it's really going to go if we're really looking at a 5 10 15 dollar stock what's 25 cents going to mean because if it does happen to be mcom 2.0 and we give up a buck and a quarter shortly after regaining compliance and it's nothing but more and more dilution which is typical in penny stocks under a dollar especially in this environment then this short two or three minute video will have been well worth your time. Until next time, 
always remember that I love you guys and thanks for watching. What the